today we play Best of One. The only one in Best of One. Not Virginia Taxes. Ta-da! You Orion! This is standard. We did it before, so we'll do it again. Hello, and welcome back to another day in the arena. It's me at CGB. Today in the arena, we are going back to the bowels of the tier list of untapped.gg to find a deck that simply isn't working in this meta and see if we can do better. So today on the chopping block, I, I mean, you know, the fix it station, the repair shop, it's four color legends, four color legends down here with a 40% win rate and 220 matches at some point played on this very particular list. Can't read that? That's okay, I got you covered. Let's get into the client. So what are we doing with four color legends? We're trying to generate a few absurd advantages. One of them is mana because Relic of Legends can tap all of your legends for mana. The other is turning the channel lands into really cheap spells because we have so many legends that their costs get reduced and reduced and reduced. And then we use all their abilities to make Sloger tremendously just gigantically huge. Uh, Four Color Legends is a deck I covered in the past. I played a version of it. It wasn't exactly this version, but I remember when they added red for the Inti, and the Inti is a really good addition. The Channel Lands discard themselves, and, you know, that triggers the Inti to exile a card. Uh, Rona discards things. You get to draw a discard every time you play a Legend. I remember this deck being incredibly hard to play well, so the fact that it's only winning 40% doesn't surprise me one bit. Because toilet gaming, this is not. This is a serious Magic the Gathering full of tiny triggered abilities. The best synergies all revolve around the Slogurk to me. Uh, being able to make this thing absolutely huge, being able to remove counters to get back the channel land so that you can use them again and again, giving out that resiliency. But the deck did get a little bit more technology out of murders, and one of those is Cryptic Coat. Well, two of those technically this list has two cryptic coat which i found pretty interesting i'm not sure exactly what makes this so much stronger in the deck but it does put pressure on the opponent and a lot of your cards are creatures so you can often flip them up the unblockability the inevitability of returning this hand and playing it again it's an interesting addition that i would have never thought to put in the deck and then there's also the lazav wear of faces that's good value i don't think it's a particular mind-blowing synergy with the deck it's another value piece so that you don't run out of action if your opponent deals with your slogurk which seems to be the deck's biggest problem the deck has wait for it 29 lands finally a deck after my own heart i'm sure we won't miss a single land drop would never be me uh, and you can get away with it because your channel lands with all these legends around basically function as unsummons, as fading hopes, and as ways to get things out of the graveyard and fill the graveyard, and ways to blow up enchantments and make some one ones, okay? So, it's not like we're just playing lands that don't do stuff. Our lands do stuff. One more thing that you need to know about this particular deck is check out the sponsors of the video coolstuffinc.com promo code cgb5 and also check out ultimate guard they brought out the sidewinder floral print edition you guys know i'm a big fan of fruity drinks now i can have fruity deck boxes to go with my fruity drinks i don't know i think they're really pretty i love them a lot i am not being sarcastic in any way in that sense i use them Today, when I go out and play the Magic the Gathering at my LGS wearing my St. Paddy's Day green, because that's the day I'm recording this intro. Anyhow, what was the thing I was going to tell you? The one more thing you need to know about this deck? No questions! Let's dive in. Let the nonsense begin. On the draw, still zero two mana spells in my deck, but both of the four drops are in my opener. Because, you know, arena. But we do have Titania. If they're aggressive, Titania is one of the best cards. Doesn't do much in this position, though. Hmm. I mean... Can we really hope for better? Not with this Shuffler, right? Planes from the opponent. We found our mana battery. Relic of Legends. Absolute machine. But we still can't play anything on turn two. 
and opponents just draw going. Well, here's the relic. Resolves. Soul partition. Sure. Titania, the second one. There's only two in the deck. Both Titanias, both Urtas. That's pretty cringy. No lands. No channel lands whatsoever for the Slogurk, so I guess we're going for Titania. Hopefully they counter it. Beautiful. Another land. You know, if they Field of Ruin, that would make Slogurk good. Let's go for another one of these. I think they're actually really bad against this opponent. I honestly didn't check if there were basics. Let's find out. Hey, yeah, I got him. Got him, got him, got him. And then that resolves. Ah, Sokin's on. Okay, that's something that can work with a Slogurk. But we could also try to cast this Relic, which they so rudely soul partitioned last time. I think we go for Slogurk. There's already a land in the graveyard. And it resolves, so we can do this. Trigger, trigger. And if they remove that now, we still get this back. Vanish into Eternity. That's a fresh one. Play the plaza. Hit him. Beautiful. If we untap with this board, we have Plaza and Urtai protection. Possible we could ride this to victory. And so the opponent blows it up. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. No response. No lands in the graveyard, so I think we just want to channel the Sokins on so that we get it back if anything happens to the board. Keep it coming. We just need to untap with a little advantage and Urtai can take it the rest of the way. Love this game. This is a good game. All right, now what? Let's play the Relic. Well, I guess they don't have a board wipe this turn. Look how aggressive they are. So excited for this attack. Let's make the creatures. Again. Inti. Sweet card. I don't need both. Akanuma. I mean, I have to play it. Yeah. It'd be more fun if I could channel it. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. This is probably a memory deluge as they set up their next sweeper. Oh, no card draw. Love that. A permanent? What the heck? I still haven't figured out what this deck is. There's green. I don't know what that even means right now. Shigeki, Endless Detour, maybe? They're all... You scry to the top, you better be winning the game. Better be really good. Sunset. No regret. Not countering that. Draw Cryptic Coat. Well, I don't want to discard Cryptic Coat to Inti. I want to play the coat for sure. But does that mean no discard to Inti and therefore no attack? I guess it does. 
But the code is such a good engine. We've got to do it. Oh, come on. No, 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 no. Oh, I hate you. Get out of here with that. I need my coat. It cold out. Sunken Citadel. One, two. I could cast it again, but then I'm not holding up Plaza. And they did show us a destroy effect. Anquish the Horde. Also, Hexproof could be relevant. No attack. Pass. Right now we have one, two, three, four, five mana. We bounce this, we take down Plaza Protection. I think we do. I think it's fine. We want to keep it cooking. Ooh. Who dis? New negate? Jesus! You're fun. I'm not sure. I guess we get an Urtai, right? That'd be good. Okay. You started this fight, but I'm going to end it. Nice one. Decline. How do we get more value? We need another slow gurk, right? Opponent doing some big kick gaming. Your training. Oh, it's sweeper time, I guess. Trying to get these off the board, or at least this one. And it's Sunfall again. Okay. We get no help. But we get this exile for Glissa. And we hit Goose Mama! I think that's that's the answer, right? That has to be the answer. Ooh, these can attack, but they don't get around this incubator token. But first, we'll test our opponent. All right. Uh, green, black, one. Here's Galissa. I think they're gonna counter that. I think they're gonna counter that. We might be a lot better off protecting Glissa. One, two, three. They might not see it. But we keep our opponent from making another two, two. So, we keep them from making another Samurai. Perfect for the price of a Spirit, right? And then we protect Glissa with the pa Plaza and we threaten a Goose Mother on untap. Strike fast and strike hard. What you got? You're gonna run out someday. And on that day, I'll be waiting. <gasps> Always glad to meet my match.
leave plaza open because I wasn't sure that was going to resolve, but it did. That's nice. Three, huh? Must be nice. Must be nice. Could make their sunfall a little smaller with the cut down, but I guess I'll save it now for a samurai. All right, can we draw a good card? That is the question. Show them how we greet our enemies. It's a card. Transform. Remember, source deals damage to this. Exiles a card from their hand at random. I think I need the looting more. Make that decision next turn. Well, they've had no trouble at all in this game. Even though their only card draw has been quick study, they've drawn the nuts for every situation. There's the samurai. Keep watch for intruders. I mean, they only have two cards. The fact that they're not being aggressive is kind of weird. The Wara. Hmm. Hold, I think. Just hold. Just hold and chill. Although, we're the one who has to have a good board. We're just gonna put the counter here, so like blocking isn't gonna do anything. And we have a lot of legends. We need to draw into them. Bingo. <laughs> Their brain explodey. Look out, it's value. Panic. Again, could transform. I don't think it's the way. Don't think that's the play here. 30 cards, 33 cards. Three sunfalls spent. There might still be a farewell. They run this, but anything that targets, we can plaza our way through. Remember your training. No attack even. Weird. I guess we'll just see what we hit. The NT. These two together are very good. How many Slogurks are gone? We need to find another one. Come on, baby. Hmm. I guess I could have played this first. I just wanted to untap it and get an extra use. I'm not sure which is right, if I'm being really real. Let's see if they have a response for this. The Gurk! It's happening. The Jace! It's the Jace! Oh my god. And 32. I mean, we can mill ourselves. 14 cards, 12 cards. I'm not even sure what I'm doing with this Jace, if I'm being real. It's exile a card from the graveyard, then investigate. When you sack a clue, it becomes a copy of the exiled card. Which we could turn it into what? Titania? But I'm not sure when and how we're supposed to jace him. I could discard the Slogurk. I don't like that one bit. Untap. Combat. want the clue not gonna lie or it's like I 
block, I guess? It's fine. I think they're gonna counter this, don't you? One, two, three, four. Untap Rona, still have Plaza. Spell Pierce. That might have been a bait to get me to tap the Plaza. I'll take it. Question is, do they have a Jace? If they have two Jaces, I lose anyway. So we're going to our graveyard to try to get the Slogurk to pop up. We can improve upon your ideas. Like that. And that's my card. That can take out the token. Let's hold. Interesting. Very interesting. I don't know how this is going to end. They can bin the Emperor to get the Inti. Nope. They're feeling aggressive. Show them how we greet our enemies. They hate that, Jace. Truly hate it. Gotta tap careful here. Triggers. Triggers, triggers, triggers. Gotta love triggers. Exiled the Takanuma. Is that a, a dead token, would you say? Opponent, where's your, uh, where's your sweeper? No sweeper. It can't be. I need to know more about their deck, and I'm getting nervous that I'm going to be the one who's decked. I know where to find all the answers. Shigeki in the bin, baby. I had a feeling it might be a Shigeki. 17 health. See what we hit. Triggers. Glissa. Trigger. I think they're going to play another Wandering Emperor. I'm not positive. That's my prediction. So we're not going at their Wandering Emperor. Also, we're very close to getting Jaced out. But I haven't seen a Jace out of them. So we're hoping for the best here. Go to seven. Only seven cards. Can I jace them twice? If I use this, I get back Takanuma. Takanuma is two. The jace is still on the field, though. That won't do. Pretty sure I just lose if that's what they have. But we take our chances. It's a tough game. Blow up my plaza. Yeah. 
So, Plaza's in the bin. We could get an Aganja. We can get an Odawara. Let's see what happens. If we can get... We have an Urtai down there, right? We sure do. I mean, obviously we do this. Akanuma. Otawara. Plaza? And one card. One little card, huh? I think we just try to lock this up. They're at seven health. I think we've got it. Come back to me, my counter spell. Trigger. Okay. Power up. Move to combat. Send to your face. Discard. I mean, I, I feel like we have the support. I feel like it's there. What could this be? What could it be that Urtai can't handle? Well, thank God for go for the throat. <laughs> nothing. The answer is nothing. Die. Years of training. For this? We'll never know. We'll never know what the last card might have been. Here comes Mono Red. Of course, we don't have a two drop. We're going against Mono Red, the most protected deck in the meta. They make sure that you never curve out against them. And can't get it. In fact, another Otawara. So good. We get a green source though, Titania, yo. Big deal. Oh look, a two drop. Hmm, what does that mean? Definitely playing this land. You could play this warded cryptic code. You could play this glissa that gets lightning struck, or we could play this relic. Relic can make a lot of mana next turn. Let's do it. Because what we can do is go Titania into Odawara Legend Rule Rona. That's two life. And see where it goes. Wow! Slogurk. So, do we play the Glissa here? I think we play the Slogurk, right? This way, if it dies, we get back the land that goes with the Titania. But we don't want the Titania in combat because of Rage. Yeah, I knew they'd have the Strike. They always do. Give me the Othawara. See if we can get out of this. It's going to be close. Gonna be insanely close. We got you. We can use the land for the two life, or we can try to get. We can play this, tap that, play that. Oh my gosh, so close. Whenever you discard, we don't have that yet. Okay, so this. Uh huh, juggle, juggle. And this. Blockers! We have blockers. How does our opponent still have so many cards? This game is such a scam. Surely they wouldn't just have a monstrous rage or a frenzy here. Close. We really got to play magic today, and I'm really happy about it. 
cool. Yeah, if we had a two drop, we did a land drop, if we had been able to hold o Odoar and bounce, but nope. Shuffler always protects mono red. On the draw, because that's the only way we play Magic the Gathering. But this time we have two drops. So it's not bad. Blue white control. No, something else. Something that actually might be a greater problem. Denik. Do we play the Inti or do we play the Throat? I think we let them develop a little bit more. The Denik is only a problem when Slogurk is on the field because it targets the lands in the graveyard. Boom. Straight to cut down. Wow. Okay. And mana is open. Let's try getting this out. Counter. Okay, that's also in the graveyard now. Just dumb Esper stuff. No big deal. Here's my Jace. He's small. That should absorb their attention at least for a little while. Give us a chance to go for the throat, the Denik, and have the Overslime on the field. Ignoring the Jace. Well, we'll see if that means Urtai or what. And they still connive on the Denik, like their life total is what's important. Weird. Very weird. I'll take two. Yeah. Okay, so that's what they're vibing on. Guess that has to happen. They really thought that game was over, didn't they? It is a target card. This Denik is a huge problem. But, we've got plays. Lands! Thank you! One land! Not really enough, but we try. Let's see if they have a solution to the Slogurk. Remember, we don't get anything back here if we block, so we're taking it. Six health. Scary. They pass. That's Urtai mana. Lazav. Laza. So it's two mana to Odawara. And Slogurt goes to three. I guess we have to do this. Try to grow Slogurt bigger. And then we don't start this fight on our turn. We start it on theirs. Oh, okay. Now, who is that targeting? Slogurk? And we're on four? This is very close. Yeah. So what we have to do is... Bouncies. Takanumis. And we have to not die. Which might be asking too much. Maybe I'm not supposed to bounce it there. Because this right now is potentially five in the air. They just need one more damage. So, if I don't bounce my Slogurk, the lands are still in the graveyard, but Urtai's in the hand, and we have the creature on the ground that might block. I guess that's not a big deal. Let's see if they go for damage. They go for damage. 
We're trying to find Shieldred to just win, but we have the Otawara. But that won't save us because we have to spend too much mana on it. So what would we have to do? We'd have to Urtai, kill a Shieldred. We go to two. That's a Denik. Didn't know you were called Denik. Easy, buddy. All right, they have no response right now. Play the Urtai, kill that. It's one mana open. Very, 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 very close, close. Could also Slogurk. One, two, three, one, two, three, one and bounce the Rafine instead of using the Urtai, which gives them another card. But I think it's the Urtai. And there's no response right now, but they do have flash creatures, which means we don't want to do it now. We want to do it on their upkeep. Like if they hit a Tidebinder off the draw, then they potentially have lethal. Tidebinder into like cutdown would be lethal. What do they have here? Now that there's something on the stack. What's going on? No! No! Okay. Okay. Come on, deck. Come on, deck. Let's go, baby. Let's go. What? No, no, come on. It's 30 to 2. It's 30 to 2. Where are you going? Unbelievable. Uh, why? <laughs> I'm so. Why? What the? I can't cast anything. Okay. Better, closer, warmer. There's your green. No red. We'll have to rely on relic for that. Wait, green means I can't cast Lazav. I'm fine. This is fine. That's why we chose green because of Titania. This, this is just smart. Um, I go for the throat, weeps in sadness. Definitely resolves, right? What they got? We got some instant. Is this where they glyph me? Am I gonna get glyphed? Heck you doing? Hey! Return it to owners. The tempo! That's insane tempo! What the hell is this? Oh come on! They had it all! Freaking cheaters. I guess we play around a counter spell. Like, what else can I do? Can't take that. Can't take that beating. Hover bike. Fog. <laughs> Got me. Uh, what? As long as it remains on the battlefield. Another six. Nice. It's <sighs> great. Love this for me. Let's go with this. What did they have last time? It was a bounce, right? It was a bounce. I guess we'll just wait. One, two. Could play this. No, I'd have to tap this, cast this, and this into this. I guess it's the same, right? the same. Now we just wait for the bounce and then we go for the throat. There's the bounce. There's the go for the throat. Surely they can't do five. No mono blue aggro deck has ever dealt five damage. Yeah, that's right. You attack for two and you like it. Okay, life gain, kinda. All right, please resolve. I have three mana to pay for stuff. Okay, 
Sweet. And then I think we're gonna we're, we're gonna we're definitely gonna cycle this. Are you kidding me? All right. Uh, no attacks. Play this, and then use relic to cycle the proving ground. They're not afraid of this. And then we gain two life and we draw a card. Okay. Balls. No. No. Interesting. Makes me think something's wrong. Two life? Haha! <laughs> you can't deal five? You can't crew both bikes? You can't top deck a glyph? You would have done it last turn when I was tapped out, so... Nah. There's 46 cards in your deck. You can't be that lucky. You won't be that lucky. Not this time. No way. I've been disrupted. They need one more crew. I need to draw some land. I need one of the channel lands off the top. We're going to one. And we don't have enough blocks. Wait, what? Wait, what? 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 No! No, what is this? No! How the... You can't drive the hover bike and attack? That's not fair. And it's totally not lore. Not lore accurate. On the draw, do or die. Are we 40% or are we 60%? We're two and two. We keep. No chance, that's what we've got. It's over. Over. That's game. There's no way we keep up with a Boros deck with this hand, right? Well, there's no way we keep up with a Boros deck with this deck. Like, like how could we possibly? We need their draw to be trash. Here's NT. Haha! -ha! I'll block you. What now? Hey, that's my gimmick. Huh? Whoa! Okay, we can still kill this, thank God. Do we do it before combat? When do we do it? We don't want them to play another one, but they did just stone rain themselves. I think we just do it before they go to combat. They don't have anything to pump this, right? They don't have anything to pump this. We're good. That was their last land. Their mana screwed. They're gonna be digging for a minute. Yeah, pass the turn, you fool. Okay, more of that. Each legendary creature you control. All right, so this does not see Jace. Are we attacking? Oh my gosh, are we attacking? I think we are. I think this Jace gotta go. Our opponent's taking pain from the Battlefield Forge. Let's show him what's up. Jace is in the wrong castle. And that is what we needed, another legend. I don't think the Otawara helps us. But this can. Urtai open, thanks to Relic of Legends. Here it comes again. Oh man, do we kill it after combat? Because they want to attack with all these, we get to kill a token and they leave themselves unguarded and we ambush them with the Urtai. So I think we let this attack. Yeah, let it attack. Try 
Traeger, untap. Urtai, destroy. We block and we block. Leave them with their colorless tokens. Those don't convoke as well. We make one ones. Trigger Inti. At 13. What can we do? Backup Rona, not great. Unless we go 5-5. Five, five. You can pay two life. Have 5-5. Five, five, swing 5 Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, please. Oh, please. Oh, please. Ladies and gentlemen, I give to you my 60% win rate mega deck. What kind of scrub could you be to go 40% with this thing? That's right, not this scrub. Yeah. Never didn't have it. Woo! Three, two, baby. Put it in the thumbnail. Today's Cool Kids Club member shout out goes to Decalabia. Decalabia. Thank you for becoming a member of the Cool Kids Club. And I hope that you're enjoying this random shout out and also access to all of my videos at least 24 hours in advance. We had the recent Raran collab video. That one we gave a whole weekend uh, to the members, and that was mostly because I wanted them to let me know if anything was wrong with the video, since the, the last one now has over 160,000 freaking views. I want to make sure that we don't do anything stupid, like say an Ornithopter is worth $650. Something dumb like that. So I hope you enjoyed that early access, and you, the rest of you guys will see that Raran video probably yesterday that came out if you didn't watch it <laughs> you probably should people love those things anyway i'm glad it's really cool to see this deck uh thing i need to tell you the number one response i got the last time i grabbed a deck from the absolute bowels of untapped.gg tier list and played it was cgb but what's missing here is telling us how to improve it to make it a tier one deck guys <laughs> you're cute you're really cute. I, it's adorable. Like, oh my gosh, I want to protect you. My precious little babies. You stay in that bubble. You keep believing this can be a tier one deck with a few little tweaks and changes from yours truly. I am a magician. I am not that good a magician. In fact, the reason most of these are on the tier list, even at tier four, is because they're the best version of this deck right now. That's why they got there. There are a lot of decks you may have noticed if you ever scrolled that tier list that never even make tier four. All your little Timmy and Jimmy decks, all of them that now you're like, oh my gosh, CGB. What about clerics? Clerics have what it takes now. They printed like this one cleric at six mana. It does nothing when it enters the battlefield. It's so cool, CGB. You should play that. All those decks, all that trash below the surface of tier four. Guys, I can't. I, for two things. Number one, this is already a tier one deck because I put up a 60% win rate with it. All right. And that's higher than any of the 55% decks in tier one. All right. So that's just a fact. I played it exactly as is and it's tier one. It's the player, not the deck, baby. At least in this video. Number two, like decks have ceilings. The, the, the real answer. Come on, guys. Decks have ceilings. Some decks, given the meta, given what's printed, can't be tier one. There's also something you need to know about Santa Claus and Easter Bunny. But I'm not telling you. Thank you for watching this video. As always, I will see you in the next video. You're cool. Get ready for March Foil Madness when you order from CoolStuffInc.com. During the month of March, each Magic the Gathering order will receive a free foil, with some lucky customers receiving a foil rare or one of these special promos. Get your orders in now at CoolStuffInc.com. Cool Stuff in stock.